Hey guys, Mike from What's Mike Doing Today? Hey, I want to do a little review on a chainsaw. My personal thoughts, my personal feeling, feelings, and I want to show you this if you're looking for a homeowner's type of chainsaw. I'm not saying this is a commercial chainsaw at all, but I want to show it. This is not a paid promotion. This is not a sponsorship. This is nothing. This is my personal thoughts and opinions about this saw. So what we have here is a Ryobi 38cc 16 inch chainsaw. The first thing that I really really liked about the Ryobi versus the other brands in the same price category of about 230 to 260 on dollar wise was it actually came with a case some people don't care about cases but when I put a chainsaw up or put up a piece of expensive tooling I like to have a case the case is pretty good quality it's just a molded plastic case and it has this door right here that you have to open and then your saw comes out and then it also still has the blade guard so I do like the blade guard on the saw keeps you from when you're taking it out of the case or putting it up for storage knocking it dinging your chainsaw blade dulling it in any fashion As I knocked the chainsaw off this trailer frame because I can't get that off one handed. There we go. So, like I said, it is a 16 inch blade. Now, I'm going to go over a couple dislikes I don't like about it. I don't like the tip guard. Matter of fact, I'm also considering taking that off. I don't like the tip guard at all because if you have something wider than a 16 inch blade, you can't cut through it now the startability on this thing it fires up fairly soon and I'll show you that but pretty much that's the one and only dislike I have about this saw is that tip guard you have the basic controls your choke your primer your stop button and then everybody has the dual safety trigger the gasoline and the oil fill seems like it's pretty accurate for you know three or four hours of good hard full throttle cutting I do like that matter of fact I filled it up with oil and gas for the first time since I've owned it and this will be the fourth time I've used it to trim tr limbs or what I'm fixing cut up all this broken down tree branches that fell and I'll record some of that so you can hear the power of it it does have the chain break which most of them do now anyway that's another feature I do like because you can stop the chain set the saw down and nobody gets hurt so let me uh, get y'all positioned I'm going to fire this thing up, I'm going to show you how it does some cutting, and we'll go from there. I did forget to mention another real useful like I have. The case is actually big enough for you to keep your chain oil in, and a small deal of premix for the gas. That's another big advantage, that's why everything is together except for your gas can. Now guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the saw. Primer it up. Pull the choke out. Second pull. I didn't let it warm up enough. Oh, 
as you can tell you can hear the powerfulness it's not no wimp so let me show you how it does when it's cutting all right let's do some cutting <clears throat> I hope y'all can see that. I mean, uh, I did get the blade pinch because of just the angle of this tree branch that fell down. And I mean, to me, it has the same power as steel, Husqvarna. Uh, I'm really impressed with this particular chainsaw. So if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments about it. Uh, this is like my fourth time using it now. This is the biggest job I've done with it but It has plenty of power and I feel like with a sharp chain on it It could get most of your home uh, Tree trimming etc done You know my only dislike is that stupid blade guard that Ryobi is a good round the house chainsaw here's a stack of wood I got to move yet which I'm not going to film that's going to be lake wood lake wood lake wood I might get the pickup back here load up all these branches on a Friday so I can take them to the shipping site on a Saturday they're only open like 
here they're only open like Monday and Wednesday and Saturday from like 8 to noon so uh, that makes it kind of difficult and I'm not sure I'm 100% correct on those times but it still makes it kind of difficult and let me give you a sneak peek of this I wonder what we're going to do with that but alright guys I hope you like my little review of this Ryobi uh, chainsaw for a home owner's use I think it's top notch here's a little sneak peek of my garden this year got zucchini cherry tomatoes some full of me not jalapenos some bell peppers bell peppers bell peppers a squash plant another squash plant and zucchini plant yeah all my uh, plants are looking kind of peaked we had 80 mile per hour winds come through here and I'm surprised that all this survived that squash plant up there is actually loose so we're having to be real careful and cut off premature squashes so it stays up and gets rerooted all right thanks guys thanks guys thank you for watching please hit that like or subscribe button if you feel like you need to and comment below that really helps my channel and i'll catch you on the next one